Imagine a world where love doesn't need words to be expressed, where small actions carry meanings far beyond mere words. In this life, we're often swept away by romantic declarations or grand gestures deemed as evidence of love. But one might ask, does the true essence of love only reside in those outward expressions? Love, a vast concept, sometimes lies within absolute silence. But how can we express love when not a single word is uttered? How do our actions become true expressions? We live in an era where actions truly speak louder than words. Expressing love without the need for words not only brings surprising effectiveness, but also demonstrates a silent, unobtrusive, yet incredibly powerful and profound love. Join me as we explore 10 psychological principles for expressing your feelings delicately and effectively. Take on the challenge and watch this video until the end, not skipping any of the 10 principles we discuss today. Through this journey, you might discover the silent languages of love that you have been using or receiving for so long. Sometimes the most important things are not what we say, but what we leave behind in the hearts of others. Principle number one, be proud. Proud is not only a profound sense of self-worth, but also an expression of understanding and accepting oneself. This solid foundation allows you to showcase your value to loved ones without the need for words. Proud isn't about boasting or arrogance, but rather clear recognition and honesty about the value you bring. Marcus Aurelius, the philosopher emperor of Rome, once said, very little is needed to make a happy life. It is all within yourself, in your way of thinking. This isn't just advice on humility, but also a life strategy for maintaining inner peace. The pride Marcus refers to is a self-sustaining pride that doesn't require recognition from others, but stems from gratitude and appreciation for one's achievements and qualities. This pride often manifests through actions, attitudes and interactions with others. When you demonstrate self-assurance and self-respect, you'll feel that value in every gesture. For example, when you refuse a request that goes against your principles, you're not only protecting yourself from infringement, but also affirming that you have convictions and principles. True pride helps you stand firm in adversity without needing validation from others to feel worthy. This leads to a question. Have you ever felt proud of a personal achievement without needing recognition from anyone? Every action you take is not just a statement of self-worth but also a powerful message to loved ones that you're an independent, confident, and dignified individual. This is a strong way to showcase your value without words, perfectly aligned with Stoic philosophy where every action reflects not only intrinsic value but also the essence of tranquility and resilience. Principle number two, be prepared to leave. Marcus Aurelius, the Roman emperor, and a great Stoic philosopher once wrote, you have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this and you will find strength. His statement emphasizes that it doesn't mean you have to abandon all relationships, but rather you need to be willing to leave if the relationship is no longer healthy or serving your best interest. Imagine Michael, a man deeply in love with Anna, but always feeling he has to comply with her every demand to be accepted by her. Michael fears that if he doesn't do as Anna wishes, she will abandon him. However, as Michael begins to recognize his worth and sets boundaries within the relationship, he feels stronger and freer. Through this, he understands that he can live independently, not dependent on Anna, and this makes him more attractive to her. This is a prime example of how self-respect is essential helping us not to let fear dictate our lives and relationships. Be prepared to leave is also a way to demonstrate maturity and control within a relationship. When you know you can live alone and are not dependent on others, you will be more confident and less shaken by the inevitable ups and downs in relationships. You will create a space where both parties can grow and show appreciation for each other without being forced or pressured. Ultimately, be prepared to leave in Stoic philosophy is not a negative action but an expression of inner freedom and strength. It's a way for us to show that we know our value and are not afraid to face change. Through this, you will build a healthy relationship where each individual is respected and valued. Principle number three, 
Saying no is powerful. The ability to say no is not just a self-protective action, but also the deepest expression of self-respect and independent thinking. When choosing not to yield to inappropriate demands, you not only establish personal boundaries, but also affirm that respecting yourself is non-negotiable. Consider the example of Marcus Aurelius, one of the greatest Stoic philosophers and also the emperor of the Roman Empire. Marcus Aurelius resisted the temptations of power and luxury, opting instead for a simple life focused on serving and improving society. His decisions illustrate that saying no is not merely a rejection but a conscious choice about how to live and lead by example. Throughout history, we see that the power of a well-timed refusal can be immensely potent. In modern life, it's not about being rigid or selfish, but rather a manifestation of self-worth and clarity about personal values. When you decline an unreasonable request or a disrespectful proposal, you're genuinely safeguarding your space, time, and energy, essential elements for personal and spiritual growth. Every time you choose to say no, you're not only affirming your worth but also opening the door to more sincere and sustainable relationships. These decisions are vital steps toward building the life and relationships you truly deserve. Have you ever felt stuck in a situation where you had to say yes when you wanted to say no? What was that moment like, and what did you learn from it? Sharing your story could help others recognize the power of refusal and how it can liberate us from unnecessary constraints. Principle number four, choose wisely. Have you ever stood at a crossroads knowing that each choice would deeply affect your life. Do you have the courage to choose the path you know is right, even if it may be difficult and lonely? In Stoic philosophy, choose wisely is not just a simple piece of advice, but a principle of life, especially when we want to demonstrate our values to loved ones without using words. When you choose an action, you're not just choosing that action, but also the consequences it brings. Imagine being in a relationship with someone who doesn't truly appreciate you. Day after day, you strive to please them, but all you receive in return is indifference and disregard. Each time, you're not just choosing to endure pain but also reinforcing a distorted image of your self-worth. For instance, you might continue to organize romantic dinners, hoping to change their attitude, yet each unreciprocated effort only leaves you feeling lonelier and less valued. Now, imagine one day you decide enough is enough. You realize you deserve to be loved and respected more than what the current relationship offers. You decide to end it. As you walk away, you're not just choosing freedom for yourself, but also taking a significant step to demonstrate that you understand your value. This liberation not only provides you with the opportunity to seek happiness elsewhere, but also serves as a strong statement of self-respect and dignity. In life, there are times when we need to make these difficult decisions to protect our values. The Stoic philosopher Epictetus once said, It's not what happens to you, but how you react to it that matters. This emphasizes the importance of choosing how we respond, not just through words but through actions and decisions. Making the wise decision is not just an act of self-preservation, but also a declaration of our worth and principles. Each choice we make not only speaks to who we are but also influences how others perceive us. When we choose wisely, we not only create a better life for ourselves but also send a powerful message to those around us about the values and principles we uphold. Principle number five, understand your value. Like bridges spanning deep rivers, our values connect us to the world around us in profound and meaningful ways. Viktor Frankl's story recounted in Man's Search for Meaning, is a powerful testament to this. Despite being imprisoned in a concentration camp, Frankl found inner strength through the deep meaning of life, evident in his steadfastness to personal dignity and values without the need for words. According to Stoicism, understanding our worth is not just about knowing what we can do but also about recognizing what defines our essence. The Stoic philosopher Epictetus once said, don't explain your philosophy, embody it. This emphasizes that our worth is demonstrated not only through words but also through how we live and act daily. 
Manifesting our values without words requires a high degree of confidence and autonomy. Ask yourself, are you living fully in alignment with your values? Are you showing others your true worth through your actions, decisions, and attitude? So, how do we embark on this journey? Firstly, take time to reflect on what truly matters to you and what you hold dear in life. This could be honesty, patience, or compassion. Then, create a plan to embody these values every day, even in the smallest actions. Expressing our values without words not only enriches our own lives, but also inspires those around us. When you live true to your values, you not only elevate yourself, but also contribute to creating a better world. From the perspective of Stoic philosophers like Marcus Aurelius and Epictetus, cherishing and expressing our worth without the need for words is a powerful and meaningful act. Our team would like to thank you for taking the time to watch and contemplate with us. If you found value in this video, please like and share it with your loved ones. Your support motivates us to continue bringing even more valuable content. In the next segment, we will explore the next important principle in setting boundaries, clear and assertive communication, helping you protect your self-worth without having to verbalize it. Let's continue exploring to gain a deeper understanding of this approach. Principle number six, set boundaries. In a world where connections are swiftly made through social media and mass information, setting boundaries for oneself is not just about erecting walls around us to protect personal space. They are also a subtle expression of self-respect. A study by Stanford University on self-respect in relationships has shown that individuals who establish clear boundaries tend to have higher levels of happiness and satisfaction in their relationships. Setting boundaries is an art that requires fineness and confidence. It's about saying no without uttering a word. It's when you gracefully leave a meeting when your time is encroached upon or when you choose not to answer the phone in the evening to spend time with family or yourself. In doing so, you're not only safeguarding your space and time, but also sending a clear message to those around you that you value yourself deeply. Let's take Thomas as an example. A software engineer working at a dynamic tech company, Thomas often worked late into the night to meet project deadlines set by his boss. This left him with no time for himself and his family, leading to an imbalanced life. However, Things began to change when Thomas decided to set clear boundaries regarding his work hours. He started refusing to work overtime on weekends, emphasizing that he needed this time to engage in outdoor activities and take care of his mental well-being. Initially, Thomas's boss and colleagues were somewhat surprised and even dissatisfied. However, they gradually realized that Thomas, when rested and re-energized, was more efficient and creative at work. This not only led to better project outcomes, but also fostered a healthier working atmosphere throughout the company. Thomas proved that setting boundaries is essential for maintaining mutual respect and learning not to demand too much from others, thereby enhancing one's self-worth in the eyes of everyone. Setting boundaries doesn't mean you're building walls between yourself and others. Rather, you're drawing lines that allow your relationships to develop healthily and sustainably. Setting boundaries is how you express your value not only to others but also to yourself. If you've learned a lesson through principle number six, leave a comment, I set boundaries for myself below this video's comment section. Principle number seven, don't run after anyone. Why do we often feel the need to pursue others to validate our worth? Does this reflect a lack of self-confidence within us? When you no longer chase anyone, you truly demonstrate respect for your value and create a space for others to come to you voluntarily and sincerely. Self-propulsion and self-direction are central and stop chasing anyone isn't just advice. It's a principle of life. This carries deep significance when applied in relationships. It not only helps us maintain self-respect but also builds respect from others. Specifically, consider the story of Marcus Aurelius, who wrote in Meditations, If you seek tranquility, do less, or do what's essential, the logos of a social being requires, and in the requisite way, which brings a double satisfaction, to do less, better.
Marcus Aurelius emphasizes accepting respect from within rather than seeking it externally through acceptance or validation. We are often tempted to chase the acceptance of others, but this only leads us further from ourselves. When you stop pursuing and start focusing on personal growth and what you can contribute, you not only attract those on the same wavelength but also create an environment of mutual love and respect. Act without words. So instead of pursuing someone to demonstrate your worth, redirect that focus to personal development and allow things to unfold naturally. Confidence and respect will follow you as you adjust to become the best version of yourself. This is the most powerful way to demonstrate your value without needing to say a word, reflecting the truth that perseverance and honesty with oneself are the most important aspects of any relationship. Principle number eight, act on your boundaries. When transitioning from setting boundaries to acting on your boundaries, we not only affirm personal values, but also demonstrate steadfastness and sincerity in relationships with loved ones without the need for verbal communication. Think on boundaries requires the courage to enforce decisions that one has set. This not only demonstrates how much one values oneself, but also shows respect for others. A specific example of this can be seen in the life of Marcus Aurelius. He consistently upheld the principle of not allowing anyone, even within the palace, to exploit their power or influence. When a courtier attempted to persuade him to overlook a strict rule of the palace for personal gain, Marcus firmly refused, knowing it might displease that person. His action illustrated the application of fairness and equality, affirming that no one can stand above established principles. In romantic relationships, Maintaining boundaries demands firmness, especially in difficult situations. Let's take a specific example. You enjoy spending time alone on weekends to engage in personal activities, such as reading or writing. However, your partner wishes you to spend more time together, like watching movies or going for walks. In this situation, clearly explaining your personal needs and maintaining your stance not only helps you protect your privacy but also shows your partner that you value your independence and self-respect. When you stand firm, it not only reduces inadvertent intrusions into personal space, but also encourages the other person to respect and understand you better, thereby contributing to building a more sustainable and harmonious relationship. Thus, acting on your boundaries is not just a self-management exercise, but also a powerful unspoken message to loved ones that you know your self-worth and that you expect corresponding respect. In every relationship, whether familial or friendly, enforcing and protecting one's boundaries is essential for maintaining long-term balance and harmony. Principle number nine, embrace caution. Imagine you're participating in an important meeting at the company. Your colleagues are enthusiastically engaging in heated debates. Meanwhile, you choose a different path, staying silent, observing each person, and carefully considering every statement. Instead of following the general flow of argumentation, you pick the right moment and carefully choose your words. This silence isn't a sign of indifference or apathy. It's a smart strategy to assess the whole picture and react most effectively. This way, you avoid hasty remarks that could lead to misunderstandings or unnecessary conflicts. Furthermore, restraint in speech demonstrates a profound respect for the decision-making process and earns points with leaders and peers, enhancing your credibility and value in their eyes. Ultimately, when you do speak up, people listen attentively because they know you've weighed all aspects before speaking. This not only elevates your position in the meeting, but also builds trust and respect from others. In the philosophy of Stoicism, caution is an expression of internal control and the ability to accurately assess situations. When we choose to be cautious, we not only protect ourselves from undue mistakes but also enhance our self-worth in the eyes of those who care about us. Caution isn't limited to speech, but also extends to actions. When you demonstrate caution in approaching situations, you not only respect yourself but also indicate that you value the relationship. This doesn't need to be articulated, yet it holds the power to deepen relationships without saying a word. 
Caution is also part of setting and maintaining personal boundaries. When you express a cautious attitude, you're saying that you have a mind of your own and aren't easily swayed by emotions or external pressures. This demonstrates self-respect and encourages others to respect you as well. Have you ever experienced a situation where your caution helps strengthen a relationship with a loved one? Share your story. Principle number 10. Prioritize deeds over promises. Imagine standing on a bridge with a strong river flowing beneath. This imagery evokes the idea of promises. They can be as fragile as the bridge, easily swept away by the wind or the current. But actions are like sturdy rocks. No matter how the water rushes, they remain steadfast. That's why in Stoic philosophy, we always emphasize prioritizing action over promises. In relationships with loved ones, promises can provide a sense of security, but if they only remain as words without corresponding actions, they become hollow and easily erode trust. Someone might promise to do all sorts of good things, but if they don't follow through, those promises are just passing wind. Stoic but if they don't follow through, those promises are just passing wind. Stoicism encourages us to enact what we say and to act based on our core values. For a more concrete example, instead of just promising to always support your loved ones, you could plan to spend an afternoon every week doing things they enjoy or need help with, going grocery shopping with your mom, taking your child to the park, or simply sitting beside your father and listening to his stories from the past. Rather than just promising, be practical in applying it to your life. If you make a mistake, admit it, even if it might be disadvantageous for you. Such actions not only show appreciation and respect, but also strengthen long-term trust and connection. In Stoic philosophy, action is the true measure of value. What you do reflects your essence, not just what you say. That's why in relationships, prioritizing action over promises is the best way to show love and respect. It not only builds trust, but also makes relationships more resilient, like a rock unaffected by the river's flow. When you act instead of merely promising, you're building a relationship on a solid foundation of truth and honesty. As the light fades and we prepare to conclude our journey of self-discovery in silence, let's pause for a moment and reflect on what we have experienced together today. Stoicism is not just a philosophy, it's a way of life, an ongoing journey to understand and respect oneself without needing to speak it aloud. What have you realized about your worth? Are you truly living by those values in every action, every daily choice, and more importantly, are you ready to set necessary boundaries and defend them? In this moment, let those thoughts sink deep into your mind. If you find these reflections helpful, I encourage you to take some small actions, like and share this video with your loved ones. Don't forget to leave your thoughts in the comments section. I look forward to hearing your experiences and perceptions. And finally, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, Please do so to not miss out on our next videos, where we continue to explore and grow on this journey together. Let's stride forward on this timeless path by watching the next videos displayed at the end of today's video, where each step is not just an action but also a statement of your absolute value in this world. Thank you for watching, and see you in the next videos.